Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us. A former Tarpon Springs Little League president is out of jail tonight after he marched into the police station admitting he stole money from the baseball organization. Eight on Your Side was the only TV station there as John Farrar walked to freedom. Peter Bernard is on the night beat tonight, and I'm wondering, Peter, did this guy give you a reason why he ripped off the Little League? Jen, I really wish he didn't. Tonight, I don't have the answer to that question. John Farrar did say that he uh, did, did not explain why he took the money, but he did apologize for his crime. After spending a night at the Pinellas County Jail, former Tarpon Springs Little League President John Farrar tried to get away from me without answering a crucial question. Can't you just tell us why you took the money? I'm not, I can't. There's people at the Tarpon Springs Little League right now having a game, and they're really disappointed. They want to know where their cash went. <laughs> These are the victims of Farrar's thievery. Tarpon Springs police tell us he siphoned off cash from money collected selling hot dogs, sodas, and pretzels at the concession stand. But tell us why you took the money. Are you down and out? Are you on drugs? What's the deal? Not on drugs. Not on drugs. So what's the deal? Then funneled more money, usually in $300 increments, to a personal business account. Total it all up, and it comes to almost 13 grand. Give us something. Otherwise, it looks like you're trying to duck from us. Uh, I'm not trying to duck. I was the one that turned myself in for it, so that's not ducking. At the Tarpon Springs Little League fields... I heard about it, and I, I think it's a shame. You know, um, it's sad. Stunned parents are trying to understand how this could happen. I think that everything that goes into it is for the kids. So, obviously, they get shortchanged um, from something like this. Little League is all about instilling honesty and fair play. We're here to watch the kids. The kids are here to learn about being good citizens. Absolutely. They take a pledge before each game and it's just really sad. John Farrar tells me his wife is not involved. But you say you are sorry. Obviously, because I wouldn't have taken responsibility for it on my own. Okay, well, as for him taking responsibility for all this, according to the cops, he did so only after the league started getting suspicious and he got, they got all kinds of excuses and then they say they started to smell a rat. Jen? Peter Bernard on the night meeting Tarpon Springs for us tonight. Thank you, Peter.